Everything you are about to hear comes from court documents in a sworn affidavit written by Kent Mawinney's wife. South Windsor police declined to comment on the incident, calling it a, quote, uncorroborated criminal complaint. New video obtained by Fox 61 shows a person in a black hoodie holding what appears to be a bag, walking back and forth outside the South Windsor home where Kent Mawinney's wife lives. Fox 61 obtained a sworn affidavit by Mawinney's wife. In it, she claims it was a stocky young man who had gloves and was carrying a crowbar. She believed a red gas can was inside the bag. She says signs of forced entry were subsequently located by the garage door. She says police took a report, ran a plate on a red SUV, and questioned a young man who claimed he was there to repair the garage door. And Kent Mawinney asked him to do it. The incident from April 15th was classified as an uncorroborated criminal complaint by South Windsor Police Sergeant Mark Cleverton, who declined to comment further. Mawinney's wife can be heard on the video calling 911, saying that she believed someone was coming to get her and asking for police to respond quickly. Mawinney's wife was under a protective order at the time from a January domestic violence incident involving her husband, Kent. Sergeant Cleverton did talk about that. There was a protective order put in place barring him from having any, any contact with uh, the victim. A protective order that police found was violated when, according to court documents, Mawinney recruited Fotis Dulos to mediate their marital difficulties. I think she was concerned uh, or, or curious uh, uh, suspicious of the con of the contact from Mr. Dulos. Mawinney's wife told police she believed Dulos was indebted to Mawinney, possibly working on behalf of Mawinney. Mawinney's wife also recounts a meeting between she and Fotis Dulos at Max's Oyster Bar in West Hartford, where Dulos asked her to come to his Farmington home to meet Mawinney and rekindle their relationship. Later, even offering a room, and in her words, suggesting that Kent and her use it to be intimate an offer she didn't take him up on. There's no question she was uh, fearful for her life uh, from Mr. Mawinney. The warrant goes on to detail a list of conditions that Mawinney's wife told Fotis Dulos she wanted met before they could begin to repair their relationship. She wanted respect. She wanted Mawinney to attend Alcoholics Anonymous and for them to get counseling. Reporting in Farmington, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News. You can expect a lot more.